the Sade field. Activations of multidimensional engines. Launch communications probe. Power levels to maximum. Activate all dimensional levels of communication. Communication established. The voice you hear is known as Bob. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. We have reached our destination. This is the last slave planet in the galaxy. Under all agreement, under all rights, under galactic law, we now proclaim this planet free. The dissension of the true human consciousness has begun. Energizing Shambhala Diamonds. The men, women and children of this planet are now set free. Listening to Dark City Radio Live. Tune in at www.darkcityradio.com. You can find us by searching Dark City Radio on Facebook or Twitter. Get off, we eh? see him there, this man, try to dive in. Whoa, come on, this man, we give you plenty of time on the Dark City. Uh, Dark City Show, folks. Uh, I'm uh, Bob, commonly known as, uh, or Paul, which I don't mind. You know, I, I've been called all sorts over, over the period I've been here um, on Earth, on my experience. So I really don't mind. And so for identification purposes only, <laughs> uh, good evening again and welcome to Dark City. Got a crew forming. If you do want to jump on the Dark City crew, format of the show, if you haven't heard it, and I know there's quite a few people out there who haven't been on the stream before, so welcome to you, the listeners. If you do want to join us, please do. It's very informal. Uh, we're never sure where we're going to go. And with the topics, you make the topics. Of course, we've got a lot kicking around at the moment regarding the pesky councils and governments taxing people and fragrantly breaking law. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to ramp. I can feel me ramp building. Ooh. What I do want to tell you is how to join us, how to find us and stuff. Facebook, right? I'll tell you the best thing to do now. Tried it myself. Just go to Google and type Dark City Radio and you'll find us. There you go. Dead easy. Type Dark City Radio on Google ding, or on your search engine uh, and you'll find us. We tried it the other day and yeah, first 10 pages were all over it. Uh, I'm told that's a measure of that we're getting out there uh, and we definitely are. I've seen a few little videos. People have had a, I've poke a bit of fun about our meetings. We did have a, uh, we have had official undercover um, Tavistock PSYOPs meeting uh, where we met with the members of the G8 uh, and, and of course we are all being paid um, by eight nine foot blue aliens from the planet Zag 
uh, who have actually been manipulating the government um, for the last um, 2,647 years, 19 hours and 54 minutes and 11 seconds. So yeah, you could say we're getting inside information here at the Dark City, uh, and that's thanks to you lot. Um, it's thanks to the people down at the Battle of Hastings, um, you know, and Boris coming in. It's thanks to Bob Earthwise and his outside reports and that little gathering of people that creates, that is the Bob. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of stuff being done. Uh, MMM out of chat has been posting it ridiculously all over the place. Big thanks to you, mate. And uh, I think, is it hologramic? Uh, something he's opened up another site. It's quite funny. He's talking to himself. It's pretty cute when people start talking to, to themselves on YouTube. Uh, and that's on the Facebook. Uh, I put a link to that today. Uh, and it is it is quite funny. So join us and Bob's backyard to your Skype. Um, that's easy. Um, <laughs> I've just had a message from our mate, he says, uh, our mate Stephen, uh, a great supporter of Dark City Radio, uh, and he's telling us he's now a magical turtle, so the message is definitely getting out of there, <laughs> definitely, from Zach and what army, the fractal god, I think it is the god fractal, excuse me, so I'll get that out, Bob's backyard, add it to Skype, add it to your contacts, we'll get you on. Or alternatively, you can ring us on the landline. If you are on a UK landline uh, and you have to pay for your calls, um, let us know and we'll ring you back. Okay? Let us know we can ring you back. Uh, we've got that facility. Uh, but unfortunately, if you're on the mobile, we haven't. We haven't. Like I say, we, we run it as, as minimum as possible. We try to keep it um, as free as we can. Um, I'm beginning to learn that maybe I was... Yeah, maybe we're going to have to get a bit bigger than we thought, a little bit quicker than we thought. But we're doing it, and that's a good thing. So the phone number you need, 0161 298 0298. And if you're outside the UK, and this can be a really good way to get into it, because you get these local package um these package deals with telephones. I know it works for me. I can ring mobiles in America for free on my telephone, but I can't ring one in the UK. So you just add in front of it 0044. So it would read 0044-161-298-0298. And that 0044, if you're outside the UK, is the international dialing code for the UK. So that, uh, that may help you. Right, we've had some great info. We've had some brilliant shows this week. We've got all the shows coming up um, over the next two days. Where's my page gone? There it is. We've got, well, we've got Dawns who started us last week. So we can't class that as a new show because it moves at the speed of light, doesn't it? Dark City, you know, it really does. So what we have got is we've got a special with Dawn. Uh, we've done... Bidonde die. Don Bidonde. Have I got it right? Bidonde. Bidonde. Thank you, Don. Uh, so, Don Bidonde. Uh, and he's off InfoWars. If you haven't seen him stuff, he's great. He's, he's pretty cool. I'll have, have a look at some of his gear. gear and uh, yeah, he's, he's getting it out there. Um, definitely. And that'll be a nice. Uh, that should be a nice thing. I'm looking forward to that. That should be pretty interesting. Remember, we have only got 300 seats. You are the Dark City crew. I've got a feeling there might be quite a few numbers hitting on that. And uh, so get in early. Get your seat early. So, yeah. We are going to expand that. We're going we're gonna to have to move up and get a bigger stream. But we're not going to pay for something yet that we don't need. You know, we all, we all say this. Don't go where... Uh, you know, don't go buying anything you don't need, you know. Just get what you do need. And, and let's, we've got to play the system... But let's not go crazy, you know, with buying loads of stuff that you don't need. You're all beautiful, you know. You don't need loads of stuff to make yourself more beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Um, what has then popped in later on this week, on Friday, because most people will know nothing ever happened on a Friday on Dark City, you see, because it was fish and stuff on a Friday. <laughs> anyway, we've solved that. Uh, we've got permaculture. This is uh, with Narice, uh, and she's going to be permanent. 
It's a permanent permaculture feature. That's what we're having. It's a bit like a water feature, um, but you can eat it. All right. So we've got permanent. We've got permaculture in there. Starting uh, as from Friday, and right behind that, uh, our uh, our first resident from the United States of America, uh, Miles Crisp. I've spoken to Miles on a couple of occasions. Um, he's a young guy. He's an historian. Uh, he thinks outside the box. Uh, and yeah, what did I say? He's the, he's the intellectual backbone behind uh, Dark City. Incredibly knowledgeable lad. Brilliant stuff, really is. Um, and I'm, that's yeah. I, I know you're going to like that. I know. Now it's running a bit later. You'll notice. It's it's running kind of. We normally kind of kick in in for about eleven on our shows. Well, that's going to run till twelve o'clock, because that suits our American brothers and sisters. America's waking up then. It's their afternoon, uh, and hopefully that will push through. You know, because we do want everybody to know that we are predominantly a UK station at the moment, but we don't want to be a UK station. We we want we want this to be everyone's station, your radio, wherever you are. So the idea of the resistance news. Um, yeah, you're hearing, if you're out there and you're not in the UK, you're hearing this. Bring it to us. Now look, something doesn't happen in your area every day, we know that, but when it does, get in touch with us, find out, you know. Get in touch with us before, let us know you're there, let us know you're reporting, nothing happens. You know, because a lot of the media stream is telling us it's bad and it's naughty and it's this and it's that, you know, you go out and, and as Billick says, you know, you get bitten by a rabies ridden Rottweiler, you know, and your children are stolen off you by, by African slave pirates. It's rubbish, 90% of it. They feed us the fear factory. So if nothing happens, let's hear about it. Let's hear about the positive stories. You know? That's what we want to hear about, your successes, as well as, as well as when we need to have direct action, like these people we're hearing on Bob's show. Because that is the resistance news. That's where you're going to find out where you can go, how you can help with and what you can do. So, yeah, I've not had a lot of feedback from Manchester today. Um, there was, uh, well, not just from Manchester, all over the Britain, there was, there was people complaining regarding bedroom tax. Uh, another, just, you know what I mean, something else they're already rolled out here in the north of England while they test it out. Um, you know, this, we've got to do some. This is really preying on. The, I don't know what the solution is. Um, if demonstrations and, and protests worked, then we'd already be living in utopia. Anyway, so Miles' stuff, history, um, good stuff that. Uh, and it's not just about history. It's divergent history. Divergent. If you don't know what divergent is, go and have a look at divergent thinking. Changing the educational paradigm. Go and have a look at that. It's well worth it. You'll, 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 you'll open you up. You'll open you up, brothers and sisters. Um, and then on Tuesday, right, now this is starting on the 26th, so we've got a packed night on the 26th. Remember, I said that dawn that's coming 26th of March. We've got Don Badonte, Don Badonte, Don Badonte, Don Badonte. Don Badonte. Badonte. There you go. Badonte. Thank you once again. Right before that, Sarah's starting a show. This is like a feel-good show. We haven't got a name for it yet. It's in there. It's definitely going on. It's our Sarah who does quite a lot of clerical work for us. She's on the Dark City crew. Uh, and the mate who's a herbalist. So they're going to be getting in. So it is filling up. Oh, we just lost somebody. Don't know who that was. It wasn't the server. I'm okay. So yeah, that, that schedule, what we were trying to get from 7 till 11, is now filling up. And it, in some places, it's starting to burst out of the seams. So yeah, it really, our day, our week kicks off uh, with Mark Stevens on a Sunday. Uh, that's the simulcast. Uh, and he was on Dom's show last week. Check that show out on the podcast. It was a great show. The alternative lawyer section. We've definitely got it. The legal eagles. So, yeah, we'll have to build a tower in the Dark City for the legal eagles to nest in. Right after that, then, you have Vin James. And Vin James' show took off last week. Callers, thanks to all the callers. It always brings energy to the show when you've got live callers on the line. Uh, bit of music, then, from DJ. DJ's going to do some more. He's got a few issues, but we have got his um, uh, mixes and stuff. 
we are looking for more people, especially if you're doing your own music. We want to get away from the commercial stuff. And we're going to be putting sets in. The S-Man set, SGB set, Albert Clark set. And there's others, um, and others coming as well. And then we have Dom Show on Sunday. So again, getting early. I don't want you to be all crying because you can't make the Dark City talking show right after Dom's with a special guest, Jeremy Potter, this week. Peters, Porters, Jeremy Porters, I'm getting them all wrong. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, that's about our schedule. Big thanks to everyone. A lot of offers of, of software and, uh, and hardware to the station. Uh, donation was being made. That was brilliant. Uh, thank you very much indeed. We threw that in the Skype payment box and away we are. Right then, that's my ramble. Uh, I took myself a good 10-15 minutes. Uh, that's like the news from Dark City. If you do want to know anything, get in touch with us during the day. Uh, there's normally one or two of us or a group of us kicking about uh, on that amazing little thing called the internet. Oh, last thing, Rupert, our mate Rupert, he got cut off. Rupert has been cut off, right? It was really sad. Um, he, he managed to get in through his mobile phone, let us know he's all right. He's been hit with a bit of a storm over there, uh, over in the good old United States of America. Um, but for those people who were concerned about Rupert, uh, he's now back on the net. His power's back on first. Wasn't too bad. Um, I did threaten to send down the Hobbit army um, to rise the masses of the Hobbits from the Shires here in, in, in Lancashire and Cheshire and Derbyshire, and we were going to march on the White House. I, and I'm sure they actually put Rupert's um, power back on because I'd emailed the White House um, over the last couple of days. So, there you go. Everybody's all right. Um... We did have uh, one of our road warriors uh, actually was was ambushed by the AA um, uh, and he's returned safely home now uh, and that's pretty uh, that's pretty good as well. So we've no bad news really. We've no bad news um, except we've not managed to break the tyrannic, tyrannic governments that are still enforcing certain things like measuring tax. Uh, it just sends me back to the old council tax days. Poll tax it was there, and we all went and demonstrated, and we won. They decided they weren't going to do it. They called it council tax. They changed the name. So, yeah, don't know the solutions. I don't know. Right, crew, who wants to uh, who wants to have a rant or a ramble and bring us some information? Um, tell us a bit about yourself or what do you want to do. It's a Dark City show. We have got no format. It's your radio. Please join us. Good Don't get me sir. started Welcome on that blue. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really I'm work sorry, out God. very well there. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and welcome to the Dark City Show. It's a Twilight Zone, and you're listening to your host, Don, one of the Dark City crew. Anyway, this is a show where anything can happen, and it usually does. So, you want to have your say about ATIS or the bedroom tax? Uh, you have something particular you want to expose? Please ring in because we are waiting. For your call. Yes, your call. That's all. <laughs> call in now. We need you. It reminds me of that poster, the old poster. Your no country, the dark city needs you. Go on, Prize, and get in there, mate. It's Carly. She wants it. I don't know. I'm only going to say, baby, listen, whatever you do, don't get started on AdBlue. Uh, don't get me started don't get on AdBlue. Don't get started on AdBlue, Paul, for goodness sake. <laughs> do you know what AdBlue bit... is? Go on, baby. Do you know what, really, do you know what AdBlue is? You think they're taking the, the piss with, with bedroom tax and that kind of thing. That's nothing. <laughs> if, if you have a look at these big lorries that go past, you'll see they've got an extra tank on there now that says add blue on it and <clears throat> if you go in the big motorway service stations and see they've got a special dispenser thing pumpy thing to pump in this add blue stuff what do you think add blue is well it's 33 percent urine well urea urea well it's urine it's the same thing it's yeah. taking the piss 
and and it's not only that it's watered down piss as well and these trucks now they've got them all set up so that as soon as you run out of ad blue the the truck goes into limp home mode and you have to limp at about 10 or 15 miles per hour until you get to the next station where you can fill up with that blue. And you can't even just piss in the tank either. It has to be their special piss. Synthesized yeah? piss. You can't, you can't use your own piss. You've got to use government piss. And not only that, you've got to pay a huge tax on it. And, so, and what's the purpose of this piss tape? Uh, right, right, the purpose of this piss tape... <laughs> <clears throat> supposedly they say that it reduces the amount of, of nitrogen in the exhaust well let's just have a little think about what urea is it's fairly close to ammonia isn't that an awful lot of nitrogen so they inject this nitrogen into the exhaust so that you get less nitrogen in coming the out of the exhaust yeah? yeah isn't it time for a world revolution and and isn't it nitrogen uh, don't don't the plants growing in the soil require nitrogen they, well that and, as well. and phosphates and stuff and all these things yeah bob yeah. will tell you about all that stuff all right um i just <laughs> want to say hello to skyview and witch who's in the chat box hiya mark it's lovely to see you and i love you loads too that's uh, it go on paul if, if um, Mark would like to join us, Mark, you can just add Bob's Backyard to Skype and get on the crew and say hello here, live on air, you're welcome to do that. Or you can telephone uh, 0161 298 0298. I could solve that problem for you, Price, no? Quite easy. Um, biofuel. Biofuel. There we go. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know it wasn't a problem anyway? This and is I, the whole thing about it. It's just taking the piss. Yeah, it's it's a. I mean, it's the haulage companies that are now mandated to use Ad Blue um, to reduce nitrogen emissions by putting nitrogen in the uh, in the exhaust system. Um, yeah. Well, and then, kind of oh, all listen, Bob. Bob, Paul, Paul, Bob. Um, actually, when uh, Bob Earthwise was was speaking from Hastings before. I bunged a link into Skype and um, Mark, Skythian Witch, uh, actually sent a link to another group that's uh, active down in Hastings um, and it looks like they're into permaculture and all this sort of stuff as well. So they might be interesting for Bob to hook up with. Um, well, uh, Boris, Boris, I think, uh, who's down in Hastings, uh, he's kind of only kind of our... Uh, our Outward band, uh, rebellious one down there. Well, it's not rebellion, really, is it? Really, it's just standing up for for what's what's right, really, what's honourable and right thing to do. Uh, and I know Boris was in the chat room earlier. I don't see him there now, actually. Or maybe it was another Boris. It does get a bit confusing sometimes. Um, but yeah, the chat's kind of trundling away there. Um, so yeah, you can join us in chat as well through the website. Big banner. I know it's hard to find. I don't know why it's hard to find. Um, it's perplexed us. A lot of people have difficulty. Um, just go to the main link, go to the live shows, and there's a huge, great big button under the word radio, and it says, click here to open chat. And pop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you do need, you were mentioning about various different components. I don't know why, why they do this, right, with things. I know the manufacturers, I've had friends in, in haulage, um, these systems are put in. We've got engines now, which if you put biofuel in, they'll break, literally. And just remember that the diesel engine invented by, I believe it is Hans Wolf Diesel, if my memory serves me right, correctly, um, invented the, the nut oil engine. It ran on nut oil. Um, that's what it was wrong. Now, there is yeah. arguments people say, oh, we would have no land for food. We wouldn't be able to, to grow food and we all starve. Um, come and see me and I will teach you uh, how to grow biofuel in the desert. Okay? Land you were never going to do. You were never going to go anywhere near. You weren't going to do it. It's all gone. It's, it's, it's desert. You don't need And we'll go to the desert. Right, give us the... The resources we need and we'll grow it in the desert right and that is sounds ridiculous but that would be more ecologically sound than continuing to use chemicals to pump inside vehicles to make them run on fuels which are just pish 
Okay. We, we've just been watching a, a video by a, a guy called Mr. Teslonian on, on YouTube. And what he's done is he's built himself a little wood fire. And on top of that is a, is a drum that he sticks a whole lot more wood in. And that has a tube gun going out that goes through various other bits and pieces. And, and what he's got basically is that produces oil, petrol, uh, <clears throat> uh, gas like propane or, or, butane. or butane gas for running his fridge off and, and also syn gas, which he runs a generator off. So he's got this fire that keeps his house warm. And, and then that all runs through this distillery system that, uh, that refines all these, these various uh, oil products. And it's it. all homemade as well. This is the thing. Yep. It's stuff that, you know, if, you, if you've got a tiny bit of technical know-how, you don't have to, it looks simple enough for me to do. Let me put it that way. Um, and and a, a few bits and bobs of scraps here and there. And, and you can actually make this system yourself. And it uh, basically it takes the the oil out of the wood. Uh, I don't know if you know the way they make coke, babe. As uh, they, they heat the wood up to an extraordinary yep. temperature, and all this oil and gloopy stuff drips off. And it's that stuff that he's actually converting into uh, fuel for all these different grades of fuel to run all these different bits of equipment with. It's pretty. It, it's amazing, actually. Um, and he's called Mr. Thessalonian on YouTube. We, we were impressed. Very, yeah. There is some amazing That's... stuff out there, isn't there? Amazing stuff. Um, definitely, you know, the extraction is coke. It's from coal. They do it with coal. They heat coal up and make gas from it, and then you get coke uh, from coal. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, yeah, you, why not? You can do it. It's carbon-based, isn't it? Why not? You can do it from a tree. It wouldn't be as, as efficient. Uh, nowhere near as efficient. But like I say, then we're burning trees. Well, why? Why burn trees? Well, what? What is this? This attitude. This hemp, I'm sure. What's this attitude we've got about uh, putting something inside something and blowing it up to make it work? What? 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 What is? It's, it's rotary. We seem to be trapped in the rotary age. You know, we, we perceive everything to go round in a circle. Most people think electricity flows in a circle. It doesn't. It flows in a straight line. No, what, what? Spiral, Paul? Well, I think it's vortices everywhere. Yeah. Well, no, no, Tesla proved it. The problem with Tesla's technology, you can't meter it. Everyone can plug in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the issue with it. I mean, how would you be able to meter the individual users? Um, they wouldn't be able to do that. So you couldn't distinguish between a, a small user and a, and a massive user. Um, so they couldn't meter it to, so if they can't meter it, then they can't sell it. And if you can't sell it, <laughs> bye bang, goodbye, Mr. Tesla. Um, <laughs> you know, we don't come up with things like that. Um, but yeah, these little tiny systems, myself with the aquaponics, you know, my thing is I proved you could do it in a tiny little backyard. Okay? And that's working principle. What I think this other Mr. Tesla you're talking about has proven is working principle. Again, pulse a pump, working principle. It's there, we've got it. Assemble the components. Have a look at these things. Have a look how you can apply these different things you see and make yours work. I don't think we're that far off it. Uh, and if we can do it, and remember, we, I speak of, are the, are the, the researchers and the experimenters of the internet. You know, uh, the people who police it, and take down these, these weirdo sites, and we all know what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to mention the, the name of them and give them that much power. I'm not. None at all. Okay, we've got people out there policing the internet. We've got the research. What, you, what we seem to forget is, collectively, we are the largest research and development organization ever amassed together anywhere. Anywhere. We're worldwide. We're coming at it from a multitude of directions with structures of beliefs that some of us, they might as well be alien. If we lot can come together, and we can do this because we already are. That's what the internet is. It is the largest research and development group that has ever been put together. And the internet was devised by thinking outside the box. That's how we got there. So let's not keep returning stuff don't get me wrong we need the legal eagles we need them legal eagles flying around the tops of the towers we do 
because there's them that are going to try and come at us and assault us with knowledge from the past. We will know that does not work because it didn't work before. And if it had, then we wouldn't be having this conversation, this radio station, station wouldn't exist, and none of us would actually be on this planet right now. But we all are. So that tells me it did happen, but we haven't found the solution yet. <laughs> we haven't. We'd all be living in utopia. Our minds should be in bliss, and they're not. So until my mind is in pure bliss, and everyone else is, because my mind could not be if there was another that was not. So, if we can do it, and I suspect that we already have, we may not have recognised it, of course, um, until I said it myself. I'm not quite sure, even when I heard myself say it, that I was 100% certain, but it looks like we've already done it. We are the largest research and development organization in the world. So let's not hold our previous ideologies and perceptions in such high regard. Let's be prepared to let them drop and move forward with brand new ideas, brand new technologies, brand new ways of thinking. And don't have fear of being wrong. I've been wrong so many times. Being wrong is all part of learning how to get it right. Without it, we'd never, ever do anything. Anything at all. So, uh, I don't see a breakdown in technology coming. I don't see a destruction or a big uprising. I don't. I actually see that it's too late for any of that to take place because we have already begun to integrate together and put the components that are required for human utopia to exist. We still need a big uprising anyway. That would actually um, be counterintuitive to have some kind of an uprising. What we need is a turning away from the conventional systems that we've been used to using all of our lives and, and to develop new independent systems for ourselves. Yeah, boycott everything. Stop buying stuff. Stop paying for your electricity and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, the uh, uh, Garda in uh, in Ireland, Ireland uh, are a little bit pissed off because the government's not really paying them enough. They don't think so. They they've decided that they're not going to issue any uh, any fines for for people who don't pay their road tax. I think we should be encouraged that really. Yeah, <laughs> they've just, just said if you want to pay your road tax, that's all right. But if you don't, it's okay. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? That's brilliant. If you can afford it, yeah, we need to sort the roads out. Please contribute. What a way of doing it. You know, contribute. If you've got money, contribute. If you haven't got money, don't contribute. You know what I mean? Do you, do you, know, do you know, Paul, when they, they took our van off us last year and, and there are a whole lot of these people saying, oh, if you use the roads, then you've got to pay your tax. I'm, I said to them, listen, I'm quite happy to get out and work on the roads. What would it cost me to cover my tax? Two days, three days work on the, on the road every year? At least that way I know the money's not going into someone else's pocket and being spent on war and all that kind of thing. If, <clears throat> you know, if, if we did a, a day's work each every year on the roads, then, uh, then we'd have the whole thing ha you know, paid for without some without having to pay any taxes but the thing is i'm not really a great road worker and i'm not really a great brain surgeon so it wouldn't be good if i spent you know a day a year doing brain surgery so i don't have to pay for the nhs um <clears throat> it's far better if someone who's good at brain surgery carries on doing it for free and all the stuff that i do well i do for free anyway and and if we're all doing stuff you know, that helps society and not stuff to enrich ourselves, then uh, nobody has to pay any tax anywhere. We just all help each other out and it all works fine. Yeah, I, I totally agree, man. Uh, you know, the tax is tax. If they actually spent the road tax on the roads, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But they don't. You know, I, I wouldn't have an issue. I mean, I pay my road tax. You know, it's just one of them. Um, perhaps I should should stop and you know stop paying the electric bill and stop paying all that stuff. But then there wouldn't be a radio if I didn't pay for my internet when they shut us down. 
And so it's 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 almost like you have to live partially in their Babylon, in, in their ludicrous nature. Um, it's a compromise, yeah. We, yeah. we do have to compromise. So integrate. Can yeah. we integrate? We have already partially integrated. Look, I, I don't know which way we look at it, but it's, it's not. They say it's their internet. I dispute that. It's not their internet. Without us, there isn't any internet. We are the internet. Each and every one of us, we make it. You know, people upload. Without people uploading, nobody downloads. And why are they charging the people who are uploading to the internet for internet? To me, that's preposterous. You know, that's like the farmer being charged when he delivers his vegetables to the supermarket. So they've done this to us on loads of occasions. Like I said, if we're paying road tax, to use your example, perhaps, then spend that on the roads. If we're paying capital tax, that goes to your local organisations that empty your bins and... And, and, and look after your, your children's crossings and, you know, and on your municipal gardens and your parks, not for funding wars in other countries, right? Nobody's got a problem, I see, in paying tax on their income. I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe on what we buy should be, be more fairer. That's how it should run in the United States. There is no income tax. There's still most of them are paying it, an illegal tax paid to an illegal yeah. government to fund illegal wars. Now look, if I was living in America using an American accident, an accent, I'd be singing the same song. It, 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 it's, it's universal. Okay, we've heard about a few countries who've stood against it, you know. We have. We've heard about them here on Dark City, you know. Nigel spoke about them on the Pax Monday show. Um, and if you haven't tuned in to Pax Monday, you know, do so. Uh, do so, get in. Tax Monday is on a Thursday, by the way, not a Monday. Just so mm-hmm. you know. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing happens on a Monday, so yeah, if you want to do something, come and fill in a Monday slot. I think it's the only one that is actually empty at the moment. And the Dark City is always happy to move around, so if you see that uh, a Dark City show on that schedule, uh, and you think, oh, look, it's been taken, get in touch with us. We'll move. We'll move and let you in. As long as you agree, everyone's welcome. If you don't, and, and we'll be there to hold your hand as well. So you can't lose, yeah. really, can you? This is the thing about the Dark City show itself with the Dark City crew is um, we're just here for shit and kicks, really. And if anybody wants to come on and and spout off about anything at all, um, I, I know me and Prajna tend to have an opinion on pretty well most subjects, don't we? And so does Paul. So I've we'll be able it. to put you right. So, are, you trying, <laughs> hang on a minute, are you trying to say I'm opinionated? <laughs> <laughs> we knowledgeable, don't. Paul, knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't use words like that anyway, Paul. Too oh, many come syllables. on, Bob. <laughs> if you want me to buy into your holier-than-thou position, you got to convince me you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, the server's jumping in now. It, it, it's voice activated. You've... You've got to be actually careful what you're actually saying, huh? For God's sakes, Bob, think of the magnitude of this. Oh, come on, <laughs> Bob. If you want me to buy into your holier-than-thou position, you got to convince me you're right. So, yeah, we got a few yeah. of them. They're yeah, actually... that, would that be the same server that, that got chatted up yesterday on Skype? Oh, that was funny, that, wasn't it? Oh, that was so <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that. Um, somebody tried to take the server out. They wanted the server to go, go meet them. Oh, and yeah, I remember. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit. You want to? Sorry. Tried to take the server out for dinner. Yes. Um. Yeah, server. Apparently, she was F twenty two and busty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was quite funny. Yeah, yeah. That's if you want to listen to that. That's on one of the earlier podcasts. So I'm not going to go and read it all again, um, but it was it was quite funny. I did read it again uh, a little bit later and thought I was almost jealous of the server. I must admit, you will never send me that. I'm going to be no, no. Strike that. Cut that from the recording. I can do without that. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, anybody else want to throw anything in in the last uh, 15 minutes of the show? Like I say, it's there. We can we can go on longer. Uh, we do making we're making this Bob's Earthwise up to the two hour slot. Um, 
So yeah, that's um, it's up to you lot out there. What do you want to do? Somebody's typing. So somebody wants to have some information. That's gross, and he's not muted the mic or anything. He's terrible. So we've still got um, we still got Bob and he's uh, he's wanted that. They've given themselves so many names now. I can't. Is the, the resistance news crews? Because um, that's what they they all are. I think now they're all members of the the resistance news team. Dark City Radio. We want to get big inflatable microphones with that, you know, big box round it with Dark City News, and um, just so you can thrust it in the front of MPs when you see them and members of your local authority. That's just news, everybody. Over. We want to go over. Forget covert. Let's go over. You know, if you're going to have a camera, if you've got a little camera, you know, one of these little spy cams. Get yourself a washing machine box, okay, and paint it up like a big cine camera uh, and use that. Go over, you know, don't go over anymore. Let, let, let them know we're there. Let them know we're there. Let them know we've got cameras. Let them know we're recording. Of course, if, yeah. you're, on, if you're on your own and you see something which is uh, aggressive or violent, right, do that completely covertly. Stay out of the way. Don't get involved. Um, you know, if, if, if constables or police, people like that are involved, um, you know, don't, don't, get, don't get in any trouble, don't get arrested, don't put yourself in any harm's way, don't be like me, okay, don't do that. Um, however, if, if there's a big group of you and you've all got cameras, I suggest that you question them intently. <laughs> repeatedly, um, over and over and over again. I was actually advised to do this on RT television. <laughs> and I thought, what a brilliant idea. So if you're on your own, do it covertly. Um, don't be seen. And any, any police officer or PCSO or, or court official or bailiff uh, or any other individual that's got nothing to fear, um, you know, that, that's been, that they shouldn't, it shouldn't worry them. Sometimes ramming the camera in somebody's face is a little bit intimidating and that's why people do do this covertly because people do act and say different things when they think they're being recorded. Just like to let you all know, when you're not being recorded, it's live. And there's always somebody or something listening. Always. You know? Always. So, yeah, um, this is Dark City. We are live. This is the Dark City Show. And we've got a few minutes to go, and we have a caller on the line, so I will bring the caller in. That was on perfect timing, wasn't it? Hello, we have a, a caller. Caller, would you like to introduce, you, introduce yourself? And welcome hey. to that city. Hey, I'm Mark Mann. How are you doing, guys? Welcome, Mark. It's good All to right. finally get to speak to you. We've seen how busy you have been posting lots of really informative links during our shows, and we really appreciate that. It's great to do a little something for you guys, you know. It's uh, nice to be a part of something that's not tied up with all the BS. Absolutely. Oh, well, I can, I, get I can actually talk BS consistently for hours on end, man. But I, I, do, I, do, <laughs> I do agree, man. Uh, we try to, uh, I try to see a funny lighter side of it as well. Um, I think you've got to um, wear it like an armour. Uh, but yeah, I'd just like to uh, also add to that, it, it's, um, and I mentioned it to you, uh, I did text you today, um, that I've watched there, you put in, as we were speaking it, um, especially the poll tax show um, we did the, the other day, uh, not poll tax show, it's not called the poll tax, see I'm living in 1980s mate. <laughs> uh, the Atos the show and, and, and the bedroom tax. Uh, and you were just, we were speaking it, people were mentioning stuff, and you were putting video links, and brilliant, man, absolutely brilliant, can't, we can't knock you for that, it's, uh, so yeah, thanks for coming and ringing in, so you can at least be recognised and appreciated. Mark Mann, ladies and gentlemen, round of, a, round of applause, please, well done, Mark, brilliant. Yay! Welcome to the Mark. Sorry, again, I didn't hear it. Said, welcome to the crew. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I've been listening since you started. It's been fantastic. It's uh, it's really um, quite something to be out and listening to you guys in the background. 
and now to be a part of it is uh, is uh, good. Thank you, Mark. Well, yes. it's not our radio station, it's your radio station. Because, <laughs> because count, one. the it's Count one. of the Castle says it is your radio. Nobody's going to argue with that, are they? We don't have any corporate sponsors. We've got no censorship. Really, the only thing is we don't we don't appreciate any racism. But apart from that, we don't have any censorship. We can talk about anything. Or and violence. Yeah. And that's why, yeah, or violence. But that's why I got involved with this particular station because it doesn't censor. Can I can I just add another thing we haven't got is ownership. No one owns it. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of pretty unique. Um, if if nobody owns it, well, it's no hierarchy. It's all quite funny. We have meetings. We do have meetings. And I mentioned earlier, somebody's done actually had a secret camera in one of our meetings. <laughs> we do have meetings, but they actually go on on chat, and it can be like this. You think you like that? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. All right. Well, have that then. Uh, and if you're not there, then you miss the meeting. It's just, it's just that's why it changes so much. Um, we never know where it's going to go, and we don't. So yeah, people keep coming, Mark. People keep coming like yourself, and the team keeps building. Schedule keeps spreading out. Um, like I say, more countries getting involved. I like to get a few comedy things going on it. I do like the, the, the comedy side of it. If you've listened to some of the jingles, I think you might get uh, an angle on that. That. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's a, a real powerful weapon we can use. Anyone who's ever uh, looked at Monty Python's, um, they will have, uh, maybe The Life of Brian, uh, where they, uh, they laugh at the Romans. They laugh at the Romans. That's what they do. Uh, and, and I reckon that's what could bring down the Roman Empire once again. Just stop taking them seriously. Stop taking them so seriously. Don't let them get you angry. Don't get worked up. Don't lose your temper. And as Patrick would say, don't ever listen to any mad who tells you to get a gun. And he's quite right. He's quite right. We're not America. If you are in the United States of America, I get exactly what they mean about your constitution and the right to bear arms to defend yourself. And all them people who work within that rightful sovereign and freemen of the land, you know, you know, they're, they're, they're bad, you know, it's different, but it's the same. They've got a right to stand and defend where you are right now. That does not give us, here in Britain or anywhere else in the world, the right to lash out at someone else preemptively. If they're not attacking you on your land, they're not the enemy. They're not the enemy. If you need to find an enemy, look no further than the mirror. Look no further than the mirror. So, we ain't got... See, look, there's my soul. I used to say, um, I'm now saying the word soul. I think it's when my brain kicks into gear. I, 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 I'm <laughs> we started collecting them. Our robo-hippie tells me, he has. oh, I left him out. He's not here tonight. Oh, God, we left him Well, I was just going to say that I noticed Paul said in the chat that you still haven't heard from the Count. Um, I just have a wee announcement. Well, Count Bosto, as a mayor, remains in his vow of silence, which he temporarily came out of briefly a couple of weeks ago, but he's back on it again until the 15th of March, when he has declared that the station will be officially launched. The Count has spoken. This is true. Um, after the 15th, we are actually are officially live. Is that right? Well, what does that mean, Paul, officially live? Because we are actually live. Um, what, what's, what's the difference going to be come the 15th of March? We have the Count's blessing. No, the world, <laughs> the world will... Three months. Oh, no, no, we're actually... We've only been acting at the moment. We're not actually live. We've had to go through this three period <laughs> to allow the entire universe to, to intermesh with us. Uh, and after the 15th of March, this is how I understand the concept as it was downloaded into my consciousness by the, by the count of the city, um, that um, after the 15th, yeah, the people will become aware of our presence. And all the people so far, and even the ones who've thrown rocks at us, 
and they're already aware of the, of the coming of the presence. <laughs> you see? So there's going to be, there's, after the 15th, they will be aware of their presence. And our job apparently is over. That'll be it. We'll, uh, within, within 21 days, we'll be able to stop doing this um, because the presence that they actually bring into their moment, will they'll be aware of. And that's, of course, it, it's only a perspective of the counts, of course. Um, it has actually manifested many times in many different forms um, to kind of put this into the most simplest of, of forms. Of course, many are unable to see it in its most simplistically. Um, but we can always make it more complex to suit them, of course. Okay. Well, in, in that case, I do have a follow-up question, which might just make things a little bit more complex, well, although I doubt it. No. <laughs> and, and the uh, question so is... This, this, that was me right. desperately trying to get out of it and say, I really don't know what the difference is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there won't be any. But why the 15th anyway, the Ides of March, why then? Is that just the date that was downloaded? Would you like? Would you? Would you like to change the date? It, there's nothing like this. No. We, we, no, it's just. It's just a very auspicious day, isn't it? As far as Julius Caesar, Caesar is concerned, and um, you know the Ides of March and all that. Are you putting our Bob on the spot? I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, no, no. I, I, it's not me. I didn't choose the 15th of March. It was actually the count. Um, the count uh, of, of the Dark City. You know, we have a Catwoman in the Dark City. You know, we have a. You see, um, the characters. You see, they are actually the characters, and, and one of the characters is the Count. He is the Count of Hostel. I am the Count, and I like to count. One. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> would, uh, you would not, you would not joke uh, the count if he was in your presence. <laughs> so yeah, we have a lot of fun. It's, it's a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, I don't know what is the significance. Have we got time? We've got, we've got three minutes. Um, what has, is the significance of Julius Caesar and the, and the, the what is it? The fifteenth of March. The Ides of March. Yeah, fifteenth of March. My brother's birthday, incidentally. Um, so maybe that's the significance all by itself. Maybe my brother will start talking to me again come the 15th. They, they do say beware the Ides of March, but quite why nobody really knows, I don't think. It was a Shakespeareanism, wasn't it? Beware the Ides of March, which I guess was in Julius Caesar. She's more edumacated than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to hide me light under a bushel. I like to shine out now and again. That you'll know I've read one or two books, but not too many. <laughs> Yeah, but I still don't know what the Ides of March actually are. Julius Caesar was murdered on the fifteenth uh, of March in forty-four BC. It turns out. Say that again. Julius Caesar Julius was murdered sucks. beside a statue of Pompeii on the fourteenth of March. No, the fifteenth of March, for forty-four BC, apparently. He signed the statue at Pompeii, was that? No, he was no, uh, he... murdered. He was killed, he was assassinated beside a statue. That's right. On the 14th of March, 44 BC. Well, there you go. You learn something every day, at least I do. I've learned something else now. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll Whose have to... Uh... puppy was that? That was Boris's puppy. That was mine. If only it was a puppy. <laughs> right. Well, that's about it, um, Dark City folks. Thanks for joining us, as uh, as always. And uh, we will uh, we will take you over to uh, our pre-recorded uh, listening. If you do want to hear anything on that, you want us to repeat any of the shows, just drop us a line at uh, well, at any of us really at www.darkcity.co.uk or .com. Or, of course, you can use bob at darkcityradio.com or robohippie or dawn or bob or is it news? Do, news is the other one. So, yeah, um, you can email us there uh, or co contact us on Skype. Thanks a lot, folks. I've, uh, oh, I've not got the thing in the right place, uh, but I have now. 
Have a great evening and uh, catch you tomorrow. Tune in early. Bye, lovely listeners. See you tomorrow, everyone. Tune in early, folks. It will get full. It will get full. Good night.